We're here in Mount Gretna, Pennsylvania uh, for the Mount Gretna uh, Outdoor Art Festival. It's one of the top 200 art festivals in the country, I'm told, and uh, very high quality art. So we're going to go in and uh, meet some photographers, try to interview a couple of them and look at their photography and uh, talk to them a little bit and see, tell us, get some thoughts from them, uh, how they feel about their imagery. So come along, let's take a walk in the uh, Mount Gretna Art Festival. No, I did not hear any seconds. I can't. Okay. How you doing? Good. You're there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm there. Colors are coming from blue liquor bottles. Blue liquor. Really? Sky vodka on that one. And over here, Bombay Sapphire. Bombay Sapphire. Gin. Bombay Sapphire Gin, and it's the prettiest, yeah, it's the prettiest <laughs> blue bottle on the liquor store shelf. Oh, it's the bottle that holds the gin, not the gin itself. No, the gin would burn up at 2250. Luke, Luke Voitas. Yeah, Luke, Steve Harvey. Famous photographer. Yeah. Trying to refine the shape of the bowl here a little bit. Um, then I'm going to come in and start scooping out the bowl. I've been an underwater photographer for since I was 15 years old. This has been my only career. So really the only difference between the underwater photography and above water photography is a lot of water. Is water which <laughs> eats the light. So they eat the spectrum of light, so all my reds and oranges are gone. So I have to bring flash. Everything is lit with flash 100 percent So um, that helps me bring back the reds and the yellows and the oranges of the natural coral colors. That's Goog. He knows his stuff, folks. I can tell he's been at this for a while. So if people want to find you, Goog, how they find your work? Goog Underwater. G-U-G Underwater. Website, social media, everything. Check them out, folks. Out. If that's in Port Richmond, it's called Graffiti Pier. It's in Philadelphia. Is it, it's a certain it's a certain part of town. Port Richmond, um, kind of going down Allegheny Avenue. Okay. It's North Philly. All right. And the Boathouse Row here that was shot in regular color and you converted it later? No, 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 that's shot with the infrared camera. It's shot with an infrared camera. The camera itself has been converted to infrared. And here's the most important question, where did you park? Oh, um, I was down in the, we walked from the art museum. You have to be down in the rocks to get the reflection. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that one I shot with my drone. Okay, what kind of drone? It's the Mavic, the new Mavic. The one with the biggest camera. <laughs> Life Art by Stacy Granger. Check them out, folks. Um, I'll tell you what I'm into lately is the night sky. I've been really enjoying staying out late, taking some really long time lapse. This is like two and a half hours. Uh, this is three, three and a half hours. So you just set it up. Basically, you have to point towards the North Star to get a circle. Um, and then you just let that camera go. What camera? <clears throat> I'm, for my night sky, I use a Nikon uh, D800. I like the quality. Uh, it has a good, especially at night when you're, you know, it's really dark. Right. Um, the noise doesn't show up so bad. You can see that, folks. It's small in the picture, but check it out. I've shot that. In Are you concerned yourself with ambient light of a busy city being close by? Oh, yeah, for sure. And sometimes what happens, I might be frustrated and it actually works to my advantage. Like down here, it's a remote area in North Carolina, but you see the green up there? That was what I was camping and they had a light that filtered through. So at first when I got out there, I'm thinking, no. You said, oh no. And then I started playing with the exposure and I thought, yeah, <laughs> you know, so how it worked long, out. How long was exposure was this? Um, if I'm trying not to get things moving, I'm kind of at a maximum of about 30 seconds. So it's like a 450 millimeter versus a 24 millimeter. He said that the moon was shot with a 400 
and the, the uh, horizon with the 24 millimeter. and I make kaleidoscopes. And they can find you where? Yeah. Booth 313 at Mount Gretna. But online? Yes, at where? kaleidoartdesigns.com. Check them out, folks. I like traditional or classic landscapes. Lighthouse, in this particular case, I took about, this is taken with medium format film, and every image, the water would be moving. I got one frame where the water was completely still and that's the picture you're looking at. That reflection is what makes that whole image work. This is my uh, most recent picture. It was actually taken only two weeks ago, two to three weeks ago. That's a Bodie Head Light down in North Carolina. And um, it's uh, one of my many astrophotography shots. Uh, so many astrophotography shots just focus on the stars. What I like to do is take a landscape and then add the uh, add the stars to it, and it takes a tremendous amount of planning, uh, both time of month, time of year, weather, and uh, so the light that we're looking at here is that the actual spot, the lighthouse shining. In yes, the that's the actual lighthouse, and these are the actual stars. With anything that include a foreground and a. Um, picture of the stars, physics requires that it has to be two exposures. So, Dave, if somebody wanted to see you online, how they find you? My name, DaveBazell.com. Bazell, spell that. B-A-Z-Z-E-L. Yeah, .com. Check them out, folks. Uh, basically, I shoot a lot of industrial architecture, uh, landscape work from uh, predominantly the East Coast, uh, Adirondack, Pennsylvania. Right here, Bethlehem Steel. Sh show me. Show me why you're right here. Wow. And that's in Allentown. That is in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Bethlehem. I love it. Is that HDR? That's HDR. That looks like it's in deep, deep Europe somewhere. Uh, or where is that? It's Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Yeah, oh, I know where Bethlehem is. Yeah. This is beautiful. Is that a metal print? Here with Matt Plotz from Chippewa Lake, Ohio. Color can be a distraction in my opinion. And once you get white backgrounds and you get rid of all those different colors that you see in summer and fall, the subject matter, the lines, the composition all really come out and make that what draws people in other than color. Is texture a big part of your work? Yeah, yeah. Of all the pictures hanging here, what's your favorite? Oh boy, I don't know if I have a favorite. Uh, cream Puff is brand new one up here, the sheet. Oh yeah. Uh, people like stuff that makes them smile. So that's one of them that's kind of a heavier edge. I can see that. So. <laughs> this is nice. Yeah, I like that with daddy, protective dad behind. Are you, a lot of your work shallow depth of field? Yeah, yeah, larger lenses, yep. Awesome. They're very, very subtle and mute and uh, Oh, not muted, but understated is understated. the word. Yeah. Then the black. <laughs> okay, folks, that's about wraps it up here at Mount Gretna Art Show here on Saturday. Uh, what's the date? Don't know what the date is. But uh, talked to a few photographers, got some inside scoop on some of their photography. So if you have any comments on any of the work, uh, send the artists uh, some uh, messages if you want to. But, or contact me and uh, we'll see you in the next video. If anybody's heard of Mount Gretna, they've heard of the Jigger Shop. It's very famous. It's the place that everybody has to stop and see when they come here. So. Check it out, folks.